it surely. Here we go, 1,500 metres, 1,400 metres, gets his head down. He's in a time trialling position at the moment. Almost looks a rather unkindly lazy about it. He's delivering. Peter Sagan, absolutely tremendous. He used his power. He used his skill. He's surging clear. This is a brutally difficult oh. climb of Governor's Hill. He jettisons the bottle, loses the S for weight, thinking about the rainbow stripes. He's had a troubled year. He's powering ahead. We know he's one of the finest riders in the world. Ed Val Bersenhagen has been distant, as has Greg Van Alvermaet. Nobody wants to take up the chase. They're looking at each other, cat and mousing, and they know that uh, Peter Sagan is capable of delivering. And here he comes. They'll probably rename Governor Street after him. I wouldn't be surprised. The world champion in waiting, is he? Through the flam rouge, and the chase has been given up. Peter Sagan hits the barriers almost, almost wobbles. He lazily just jets in the bottle a few moments ago. He doesn't need that to celebrate. It's going to be champagne for him. Oh, they're coming back at him, though, with 650 minutes to go. They're starting to think about it. Peter has a look. Is he going to run out of steam at the very last? He'll take this uh, turn with 6.50 to go. And here they are. Everyone has to be tired here. But who more than anybody else? Rigoberto Aran is coming up for Colombo. We saw him do it in Montreal, but still he finds the gear. He searches for the energy. Has he got it? His mouth agape in protest. Fighting the gradient. The finish straight opens out. Has Peter Sagan of Slovakia got enough? Well, here he goes. Peter Sagan is on a march. The world is watching Sagan. He's a lonely figure on occasion. And Rigoberto Aran has picked this up as well. He's the man who's going to chase him down potentially and break his heart. But it's a massive heart for Peter Sagan. And I think he's got what it takes. The camera is not at the finish line, don't forget. It stalls back again. He's racing on. Can he deliver? Aran starting to fade as well. I think that's his uh, chase at an end. Peter Sagan is going to deliver. And there is no worthier champion on the planet than this man. 200 minutes to go. Oh, it's still not over. They're spinning it up like a good behind him. He knows so. They, so he gets out of the saddle. He hits the sleeping policeman. He's still got 150 minutes to go. He double checks again. Is he thinking about how to celebrate? Oh, it looks that way. Sagan's going to make it. Sagan the king. Sagan the world champion. What a race that was. And what a worthy wearer of the rainbows we have. Matthew's in second place, but you know what? It's all about one man, and he's going to wear the rainbow stripes. What on earth will Oleg Tinkoff have to say about that? What an astonishing display. He pretty much did it on his own. He had two teammates. He was the one of the out-and-out favourites, along with Alexander Kristoff. Garten 